Let us go through the key points of the lesson. India, Agriculture and Irrigation Agriculture is the oldest and important economic activity of our country. It is a primary activity which includes growing crops, animal husbandry, poultry, apiculture, sericulture, prawn farming, horticulture, pisciculture and forestry. The main types of farming are subsistence farming and commercial farming. Subsistence farming is the type of farming which is practiced to meet the needs of the farmer's family. Commercial farming is the farming in which the crops are grown for sale in the market. The crops grown in our country are of three types basically. Food grain crops, cash crops and plantation crops. The examples of food grain crops are wheat, rice, barley, gram, peas, pulses, jowar, bajra, etc. And the examples of cash crops are sugarcane, cotton, jute, oil seeds, tobacco, etc. Plantation crops are the crops which are grown on a very large scale. For example, tea, coffee, rubber, spices, etc. To solve the agriculture related problems of the farmers, the government of India launched National Agricultural Policy in the year 2000. It aimed to acquire high productivity rate to provide price protection to the farmers, insurance of the crops, etc. Fruitful farming cannot be done on the scattered small portions of land. So scattered portions of the farmer's land are consolidated into one big piece of land. It is called consolidation of land holdings. Farmers ko unki bikri hui zameen ke tukron ke barabar jab ek hi jaga kheti karne ke liye zameen de di jati hai to usse chakbandi kehte hain. Irrigation is very important for agriculture because of uncertain rainfall in India. The various sources of water for irrigation are wells, ponds, lakes, canals, tube wells and dams etc. Nowadays new methods of irrigation are practiced like drip irrigation, sprinkler irrigation. These two methods are widely used in the drought affected areas. To overcome the food shortage in India, the Green Revolution was launched in 1966-67. Dr. M. S. Swaminathan is called the father of Green Revolution in India. Green Revolution aimed to increase the yields of agricultural produce with the help of high quality seeds, better irrigation system, Pesticides, fertilizers, agricultural machines, etc.